Oh, what's going on, Print Fam? In today's video, I'm going to show you two tips in under two minutes. First, how to do an ink change out on press. And number two, I'm going to show you how to clean the screen when you're done with the job. First thing I always do when I'm getting ready to do a cleanup is just lay a rag down, and then I'm going to open my Plastisol container. Scoop the majority of the ink out with the squeegees, and then I'm going to use my spatula to just squeegee all this right back into the container. Trying to scoop as much of the ink off of the squeegee as I can. Grabbing a rag or even an old t-shirt, usually I'll just do a dry wipe. Okay, chuck this one. Grab a second one and just do some touch up. If you're not quite getting it off there on the dry wipe, so I'm gonna grab my press wash, just a light mist, you don't need much. And then a quick touch up. All right, squeegee's clean. I'll usually start with my spatula, dragging it along and I'm scraping the majority of the junk out of there. Put that back in the container as well. Close your containers, back up. Wipe your container when you're done with it. Don't be a lazy asshole. If you get crap on your hands, a dry rag is usually fine. Dry wiping this, make sure you get the edges. When it comes to an ink change out, we usually will take the rag, them edges first, and then we're just trying to clear what we can out. So I am gonna apply just the slightest amount of press wash. And we can go to town. Start on the edges, make sure you clear the edges of the frame first. And then just circular motion. All I'm doing right now is loosening up the ink. In the corners where the tape is, there's one. Now I'm gonna take the second paper towel I had sitting here, and we're gonna clear it. From this point, I ain't gonna let the screen touch the palette. And you'll notice I'm keeping the, um, the screen tape in here because this is an ink change out. All right, and now I'm wiping the base. Voila, this thing is uh, clean and ready to reload. Make sure that you like this video because likes help the YouTube algorithm, which helps this channel grow, which keeps the thing going. And then when you go watch the next video, also make sure to like it, drop a comment, and then just keep watching my videos because I need my view time to go up for my channel to grow. Now we're ready to load up some red. Make sure you always stir your ink before you load it in the screen. Another thing with screen printing is ink management. That's what kind of makes or breaks a good printer. You gotta keep everything clean, man. Don't scoop in, drag it out. You got a big line of plastic salt, get a scoop and just kind of do a little twist in action so that you got no stringies, see, no stringies. Now I'm gonna load it in press. Now I grab my squeegee and I load my squeegee. So before we start production on the new one, we need to clear the ink. And you don't need too much. I'm just gonna use one of my Pellons here, load it up, bring it down, do my first flood and pull. And then I will just do a quick inspection to make sure there's no ink bleeding or streaking. One more thing to note, make sure there's no residual ink in the registration marks, under the tape, around the edges, and you'll be good to go. Okay, ink change outs, very, very simple. Now let's talk about breaking the job down so that we can reclaim the screen and use it again for another job. The process is exactly the same. I'm going to use my squeegee to clear as much of the ink out of the openings as I can and I'm just scooping the residual ink into my container. And I grab another one of my wipe balls here, a little wipey, and voila, one clean squeegee. I'm still gonna be clean and manage my ink well, like an adult, but then I'm just gonna grab my spatula, to scrape as much ink away from the spatula as I can, and now I'm wiping the spatula down. And don't forget, close your container, because you're an adult, and then wipe the edges. Always wipe the edges. The thing with tape is you're just, you're trying to pull it without getting it on yourself, so you're pulling and you're folding, and then before you chuck it in the garbage, here's what you're gonna do. If you throw it in the garbage can and the adhesive is good, it's gonna stick to the edges, and you end up tying the top of your garbage can up. So just spray it with water, and then there we go. Then I yank my screen and I take it over to my shop sink or whatever you have. And once you have it off press, you're ready to start reclaiming. To watch a video on how to reclaim a screen with very little equipment, click right here and follow those steps and you'll be reclaiming screens at your house or in your shop in no time. Thank you all so much. Take care of yourselves, print fam. Peace out.